The auditory game for the blind and visually impaired is an ongoing project to enable sighted, blind, and visually impaired individuals to share a similar experience while playing our game. The project was inherited from a previous team who started on this project in the spring of 2011. Our goal has been to further improve their work and to create more content for the game. The game world features an expansive landscape, a castle and a town, non-player characters, and enemies of various types. Quests are given to the player as a simple task to complete. This creates motivation for playing the game. These quests include fighting enemies, finding lost objects, and generally helping the non-player characters in the game. Attacks give the player a way to fight the enemies in the game. The basic sword attack is used by pressing the Z key and can only be used at a close range. There are several magic attacks that are all used by pressing the corresponding number keys. The player earns more magic attacks as they continue to level up. Leveling was created to give the player a sense of accomplishment and progression. Experience points are given to the player after they have earned them, doing such things as killing enemies or completing quests. Players have the ability to target or lock on to the enemy. This allows the player to place the focal point of the screen at the enemy's position, making it much easier to fight a moving target. Any game created with the blind or visually impaired in mind will involve lots of sounds. We have added different 3D sounds for every aspect of the game. Non-player characters use voice recordings to give the player a quest. Hello there, I can really use your help. Come closer so I don't have to yell. Enemies continuously make noise so that the player will be able to identify the enemy's position. As the player turns, they will hear different sounds to show how fast they are turning and what direction they are facing. For players who cannot see the screen, we have added automatic pathfinding. If a player gets lost and cannot find their way to the next destination, all they have to do is press the P key and the main character will begin walking toward the desired destination. During testing, we gave volunteers the opportunity to play the game for themselves. After they completed the first quest, we allowed them to try the game without the ability to see the screen. Many people were still able to complete the same quest with only minor increases in gameplay error and play duration. The auditory game for the blind and visually impaired was built and coded using the Unity 3D game development environment. 